Welcome back, family. You know too much. It's like you have a sixth sense, allowing you to see things others miss. You can instantly pick up on hidden agendas or the truth behind someone's words, almost like you have a secret radar for honesty. You're the friend who can spot a lie or sense when something's off, just like that. But your talents don't stop with just reading people. You also have a deep ability to see the bigger picture, to look beyond the daily grind and understand the deeper meanings and connections in life. From a young age, you weren't just soaking up the regular school knowledge. Nah, you were always diving deep, thinking about the big stuff that shapes our world. You've got this understanding of things that most folks just chat about but never really get. It's like you're tuned into a different frequency, seeing truths about how the world works, the injustices, the unseen struggles like overwork, underpay, even child labor. It's more than just being smart. You're spiritually connected, switched on in a way that you can't just turn off. When you walk through life, it's like you're constantly seeing behind the curtain, noticing how things are set up not to benefit everyone, but just a few. This kind of vision makes you question a lot about society's norms, like the endless cycle of work and money. To you, it feels like a modern form of slavery because it's all about the grind, about climbing that ladder, not for personal fulfillment, but for status, money, and power. But that's not your jam. You value different things, things that many people overlook because they're so caught up in chasing status or wealth. Being like this, always aware, always empathetic, it's a gift, but it's heavy too. You see the world differently, and while that can be isolating, it also gives you a unique perspective on what truly matters. You've always seen what really matters, so when you find yourself in situations that others might chase, like making big bucks or chasing what's supposed to be important, you're like, is this it? It feels pointless, not as satisfying as everyone makes it out to be. It's just not cutting it for you. This is what comes with being super aware. You can't just bliss out in ignorance. Even though a part of you might wish you could just chill without seeing the deeper flaws in everything, you're wired to live in truth, to keep it real all the time. So as you navigate life, absorbing everything around you, you've got this sharp ability to judge what's legit and what's not. Like in school, they might have tried to mold you to fit a certain mold to prep you to just contribute to the economy. But that's not you. You're not about that conformist life. You're too free-spirited, too much of a maverick. You hate feeling exploited or boxed into doing things just because that's how it's done. Society tries to push everyone down the same path, work, school, rinse, repeat. But you see right through that game. You're thinking, why settle for this when you could be doing something that actually fulfills you? Knowing too much, being this aware is your superpower. It drives you towards your true purpose, towards living a life that feels right to you. Not everyone gets this. It won't click with everyone watching. But you know deep down that the conventional path isn't your path at all. Trying to force yourself to fit in just leads to more frustration, more misery. So what do you do? Do you just deny who you are? No way. That would only make things worse. You've got to honor your truth and find another way, a path that aligns with who you truly are. Being the one who's got a higher calling can be super tough. You feel deep down that you're meant to do something important, something big that's tied to a higher purpose. But then there's real life always pushing back, like it's testing you. Your gut tells you, this is the path, and even though you're seeing some results, they might not be as huge as you'd hoped yet. But you can tell it's working, it's growing. You've got to see your journey as a long game, like a marathon. Quick wins aren't the deal here, and that's tough, especially when you feel like you're going solo. Chances are, among your friends or your family, you're the odd one out, the only one who's vibing on a totally different frequency. It often feels like it's just you and your faith grinding it out. But hey, you were built this way for a reason. To see beyond the usual. To know there's more out there than what most folks settle for. When life tries to box you in with the that's just how it is attitude, 
you're the one pushing back, saying, nah, there's got to be another way. And it's crucial to stay true to that, to honor those instincts of yours. Because that's not just rebellion, it's recognizing your truth and living by it. Those feelings you've got, they're not just random vibes or fleeting desires, they're your dreams calling you to step up and fulfill them. That's why you can't shake them off. Whenever you stray from that path, everything feels off, like you're swimming against the tide. Maybe you're facing emotional pushback, or you're under crazy pressure, or maybe your workplace vibes are just toxic, full of sketchy, manipulative colleagues that just don't sit right with you. It's like the universe is constantly nudging you, showing you over and over that you're meant for somewhere else, somewhere better. You keep trying different things, feeling out of place, sensing that something's off until it clicks. God is steering everything towards a greater good. Eventually, you see clearly that some places, some gigs just aren't cut out for you. And when you finally find that thing, that calling that resonates with who you are, everything starts to make sense. That's when you know you've found what you've been searching for. And yeah, your knack for seeing the deeper truths, for knowing way more than the average Joe, that's your superpower. It's why you can spot the real deal about people, places, and even your own inner conflicts. It's all about the truth for you, because truth is what sets you free. You start to envision how things could go down if you stick around in the wrong place. And that insight, it lets you choose a different, better path. You've never been one to just accept things as they are because you're a visionary, always seeing beyond the surface. You can't settle for, this is just how life goes. You're always questioning, always dreaming of something more. And that's why you can't just sit back and accept the status quo. You're all about changing it, about making your life what you know it could be. You've got a huge dream, and sure, you could play it safe and stick to the beaten path, but that's just not your style. You're all in, thinking, I'm not just dreaming this, I'm living it. Ignoring your dream isn't an option. If you tried to push it aside, you'd be absolutely miserable, hating every single second. It's pretty clear, isn't it? You've got to chase what you're destined for. No two ways about it. That's your vibe, and it's exactly why you don't let anyone throw you off your game whether they're trying to mess with your mind or fill you with doubt, saying, you can't make it happen. You know how some folks offer advice they believe is gold? Well, maybe it works for others, but for you, it's a hard pass. Walking their suggested path would just drag you down into a pit of frustration. Nope, you're not about that life because you're deeply connected to your own spirit, right? You feel every little thing so intensely you're not one to fake a smile and cover up how you really feel. The moment you sense something's off about a place or a situation, you're ready to bounce. You keep pushing forward, searching for better, because settling isn't in your nature. Feeling boxed in. That's just a signal for you to break free and follow your true calling. I hope this hits home for you. If it does, smash that subscribe button, drop a like, and share your thoughts in the comments. Stay blessed, everyone. See you in the next video.